All right. Uh, what does it mean to isolate the variable? That's what I want to talk to you about because it is really, really important for us to understand when we're going to be moving forward to isolate the variable. And it's a word that gets kind of pushed around, and a lot of students are like, you know, what does that mean? You know, and a lot of times we forget about what we need to do to isolate the variable. So um, I'm not going to get into how to isolate the variable, but I'm just going to kind of show why it's the importance. First of all, let's kind of go back through an equation. Equation is a mathematical sentence um, that can be true or not true. And we say it's an equation when it has the equal sign. So I know that this equation is true because it says 4 is equal to 4. That means the values are of equal value, right? Well, if I was going to say then, what does the value of x have to be for, uh, for this equation to be true? And you'd have to say, well, going by this, if 4 equals 4, I know that for this to be true, x has to be the value of 5. So I could say that x is equal to 5, right? The value of x has to be 5 to, um, uh, for it to be true. And what you notice is this variable is by itself, right? So that's what we're talking about isolating the variable. Because when you have the variable isolated like this, we now know what the value is. We know the value of this variable is 5. However, what's going to happen in problems is we're going to get variables that are not isolated. So our job is to isolate them, means to get them by themselves so we can easily tell what the value is that makes this uh, equation true, which we call our solution. There you go.